drink. Glad with the guy on a funky scene. Here comes another one of those funky, funny, more money shows. A cast for laughs, for talent, and pros. And sister with twisters for you, the looking listener. It seems you don't believe, so you believe that I can bitch you. So put it to your short and thought, we'll make it snappy. With jokes and folks and folks to keep you happy. No need to hold your remote control. Chill. This show got soul. All aboard, all aboard. The train up a chuckle. You better snuggle up, couple up, or the double up, double, yeah. It's hard to believe, but some of the best things in life are free. So fellas, grab your girl, tell her that you love her, cause that's the way you're living when you're living in living color. It's almost time to be moving on. No, Pappy, don't leave me, Pappy. Yes, I'm on my way to that big cotton field in the sky. You can't leave me, Pappy. I'm too dumb to make it with. I can't. I'm just a dumb old slave. I don't... Hush up. Yes, sir. You ain't no slave, boy. No. We runaways. I ran away from that plantation 123 years ago. Yes. And I done raised three generations of children here in this cave. Now you got to go. You the last of the ten bucks. I can't make it out there, Pappy. You got to. I can't. You got to. I can't. I put my foot in your ass. Okay, I try. All right, boy. Now you got to head up north. Yes, sir. And find the underground railroad. Yes, sir. Got to find Harry Tubman. Harry Tubman. Look like Cecil Tyson. I thought that was Jane Pittman. No, that's just the roll. I want you to do one other thing for me, boy. What is it, Pappy? What, Pappy? Take care of my good jacket. Oh, yes, sir. Pappy! 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 He wants me to have this. Well, it looks like I'm on my own now. I got to find my freedom and get out of here before this body starts stinking. Before I be a slave, I'll be buried in the grave. Or I'll be the hardest working man in the cotton field. <laughs> you heading north? Uh, nah, man, I believe this is southeast. Well, how far behind you is they? Who? The dogs. I don't hear the dogs. Man, what dogs, man? Is there something I can help you with? Because I'm on my way home, and, man, I am whipped. Oh, Lord, how many lashes they give you? Uh, nah, man, I mean, I'm beat. Well, at least you still got your foot. Man, look, what is it that you want, man? I don't have any time for this. You must be one of them house niggas. Look, I'm just looking for my freedom. Freedom? Yes, sir. Well, where the hell you been, in the cave? Yes, sir, right back yonder. Oh, man, look, you must be from the South, man. Brothers up here don't act like that. Who? Excuse me. Well, move it. You're blocking the way. I'm oh, sorry, sir. We just mosey out your way. <laughs> man, what the hell is the matter with you? I'm trying to jog, and you're blocking my way. Yeah, well, next time, you know, run around, jackass. What? <laughs> you crazy, man. You crazy. You be talking to no white man like that. You know, they want to be right even when they wrong. We are sorry, sir. We are sorry, sir. Don't mean to hurt you. Don't mean to hurt you. He must got one of them, that, that colored fever going around. Boy, now I feel it too well. Accept my apologies, please, sir. Well, I'll accept yours. Thank you. But I don't like your friend's attitude. You better change your attitude. Man, why did you do that? What you talking about? Didn't your pappy teach him nothing about survival? You don't talk to the white man like that. Them people want to be right even when they're wrong. <laughs> you see what you did? You don't put the dogs on us. Them dogs are a lot small, smaller than Pappy said they were. <laughs> it's 1991. <laughs> what did you say? I said, stop eyeballing that white woman. Put <laughs> your fancy clothes on. Man, you can have that if you so desire, brother. <laughs> this is 1991, man. All that handkerchief head stuff don't play up here. This is America. We are free. We can do what we want. There he is, officer. That's oh. the one. 
We done brought the slave catchers on us. Well, feet don't fail me now. Man, be cool. Be cool, man. We haven't done anything wrong. Officer, I'm glad you're here, see, because... All right, face down on the ground and put your yes, hands sir. behind yes, your back. Yes, sir. Now, wait a minute, wait I a minute. I said get down on your knees and get your hands behind your back. I is down, sir. If I go any further, I'll be in China. You have, you have the right to remain silent. Man, this is outrageous. We ain't mean no harm, Mrs. Lee, Master, sir. You better shut up. Yes, sir. Please don't beat me. Don't beat me. I, I tried to warn him, but he wouldn't listen. Hush up. I'm not talking to you. You're free to go. I was free? Yeah, keep moving. Wait a minute, man. I think he's in the singing room or something, man. Yes, sir. I keep moving. That's a good idea. Freedom don't seem to last too long around here. <laughs> This program contains true stories of rescues. All of the 911 calls you will hear are real. Good evening and welcome. Tonight's story begins on the night of July 22nd, start 1990. <laughs> Henry Turner of Compton, California was robbed in his own home and severely beaten. At 9.17 p.m., a call came into the rescue center. Hello, 911. Help me, please. I'm hurt very badly that I'm gone upside my head. I'm bleeding like a stuck pig. Oh, well, calm down, sir. I need you to tell me where you live. I live at 655 121st Street in Compton. Okay, sir, we don't have a rescue unit available right now, but as soon as one is, we'll send it over right away. What the hell? Unfortunately, Mr. Turner could not be helped immediately. Two minutes later, at 9.19 p.m., a second call came in from a different part of town. Put it on screen. Hello, 911. Please help me. Fluffy is trapped in the tree. Now try to calm down, sir. I need you to tell me where you live. I live at 31 Bramer Place in Beverly Hills. Okay, just relax, sir. A rescue unit is on its way. <laughs> oh, God bless you. They're here. Don't worry, Fluffy. Daddy is coming to save you. At almost warp speed, a rescue unit was on the scene to save cute little Fluffy from possible disaster. A little over an hour later, a third count came in. Hello, 911. Where the hell are y'all? I called over an hour ago. Sir, calm down. I told you we will have a rescue unit there as soon as possible. What? Well, what the hell am I supposed to do? They done whooped my natural behind and they looting intelligence. Sir, do you have any home insurance? Home insurance? Wait, oh, no, they done did it. Now they done sold my Al Green record. 35 minutes later, still another count. Hello, 911. There's a suspicious looking man in our neighborhood. He's coming towards my door. Help me! Help! Are you white? Yes, and Republican. Don't worry, ma'am. A unit is on its way. Miraculously, the criminal was apprehended and taken away. Hey, let me go, man. I'm the one that called you in the first place. I crawled over because I knew you'd come to this neighborhood. And he stole my Green records. Hey, 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 nah, I ain't no Rodney King. Now, man. The suspect seemed to be suffering from delusion and was taken to sick bay. Bones, how's the prisoner? I think he'll be all right, Jim, but I won't know anything definite for a couple of hours. I haven't got a couple of hours! <laughs> Sorry. That concludes tonight's show. Remember, the rescue unit is always there to serve you as long as you live in the right neighborhood. Good night. Scotty. One to beam up. <laughs> Join us next time for another Rescue Winner. Where are you going, baby? Uh, I'll be back in a minute, baby. Well, hurry up. Where are you going? I was so close. Don't worry, baby. Keep the sheets warm. <laughs>
Did you get some? Yeah, I got some. Lockjaw. Yeah. <clears throat> Wait a minute, man. Damn, man, I gotta get home. My wife's man, gonna kill me. Relax. I'm trying. Oh, man, I left my wedding ring in there, man, too. I am telling you to chill. I know just the place. They will take care of you, man. I've been going there for years. <laughs> Where are we? Man, this is called the one-night stand. You mean everybody that in here? That is right. All these guys cheated on their wives and girlfriends. See, this is a place where we come to cover our tracks. Come on, man, I'll show you where I hate Yo, Murray, I want you to meet my man here, Greg. Hey, how are you, cats? Chasing the birds again? <laughs> All right. New here, huh? Yeah, look, I lost my wedding ring, and I am panicking. All right. We got 14, 18, and 24 carats. Uh, well, mine was gold plate. Let me guess, home shopping club. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We got tons of those. Hey, hey, this is the perfect match. <laughs> now, did you forget anything else? Well, actually, I did. I forgot my... Boxes or briefs? Briefs. Lightly stained? <laughs> This is great, but I still don't have an excuse. Check it out. Murray, kick it. Usual bop. You got it. <coughs> hey, man. Get... Yeah, I'm still in surgery. Doctor, she's hemorrhaging. Suture. Damn it, honey. I got to go save a life. Kiss the kids for me. <laughs> hey, that's great, but what about me? <laughs> okay, let me guess. She's a crier, right? Yeah. All right. Flowers should take care of that. You get sentimental sometimes? Well, I'm really embarrassed to say this, but she's into baby talk pretty deep. All right, then. We're going to need the big guns on this one. Please don't be mad. <laughs> hey, this place thinks of everything. I guess now I can go home. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you wear protection? Not right, actually. Come on, with me. come on, man. Hey, Doc! You got a minute? Oh, sure, Bob, sure. I got your test results back. You're super clean, my brother. <laughs> oh, here, and I got some ointment for you. This will uh, take care of that little itch. Thanks, Doc. See, Doc Willoughby here runs the health clinic. Now, he can cure you of any social disease imaginable. And he's had almost all of them. <laughs> man, you guys have thought of everything. Hey, man, it is a rough world out there. Brothers got to stick together. I hear you. <laughs> Phase one alert. My wife hired a private detective. They got pictures, hard evidence, you name it. Get the lawyers, set up a dummy corporation. We gotta hide this man's assets, but quick! What's the name of your ex-wife-to-be? Uh, Robin Givens. Uh, I'm calling witness relocation. Doc, this man needs a new face. No problem. I can rebuild that. Man, the next time I decide to hit it and quit it, I'm coming to the one-night stand. Look here, let me borrow your membership. Oh, no, my brother. You got to get your own. <laughs> Do the hardest thing out here. <laughs> Morning, sir. Uh, your clothes have arrived from the dry cleaners. Oh, great. What about that dirty, sweaty urine smell? Uh, they added it, sir, just as you asked. Perfect. 
Now that I'm rich, you know, these flies just ain't flies anymore. They're dependents. Except <laughs> that one. Say, Jenkins, you get my wheels out the shop. Yes, sir. <laughs> Very good. All right, they got my cart phone in here. I better get my broker on the line. We're here to see a Mr. Anton Jackson. This way, please. Hey, listen, bitch. I said I want a hundred shares of Ripple. Yeah, I know it's going down, but believe me, I know my Ripple will be coming up real soon. Uh, Mr. Jackson, you've recently come into a lot of money, and uh, you haven't paid any taxes. We're here to examine your assets. Oh, all right. Well, you can look at my asset, but he gonna have to turn his head. <laughs> anyway, never mind that. Uh, what is that over there? Oh, well, I'll show you, shall we? <laughs> this here is my art collection. And uh, how much did you pay for that? Oh, that cost me $20,000. $20,000? Twenty thousand dollars. It's a scratch and sniff. See? <laughs> oh, that smell like me. Never mind about that. Uh, now, this is that. Is that a butterfly collection? Oh, this no. This is my booger collection. Oh. I got this one back in '68 during the march. I'm very political back then. Uh, this I took off that little cat nose. Excuse me. Oh, I thought that was me. Oh. Oh. You know, that ain't too ladylike, you know. You want to get mad, don't. Getting back to your audit, our calculations show that there is still $70 unaccounted for. Well, I gave 50 to charity. Which charity? Charity Winslow. She worked the corner, hunt 25th and and Clarence wiped the other 20. Oh, you mean he stole it? No, he ran out of toilet paper. He wiped it. <laughs> I still got it if you uh, want no, 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 no. That's okay. That's okay. Anyway, you owe the IRS $387,000. It looks like we're going to have to seize everything that you own. No, no, no. I ain't going out like Red Fox. I happen to know that according to Article 425 of the United States Tax Code, an individual is entitled to 4.5% of his lifetime income, which is compounded by the interest earned over the same period of time. And how did you know that? Well, I slept behind h and Block for about two years. <clears throat> That's reason 22, my back hurt. <laughs> okay, we'll let you keep the uh, portrait, but I'll take that gold belt and all of your other hard assets. You don't want my hard assets. <clears throat> okay. I guess you do. <clears throat> oh, man. <laughs> Tell you what, you can have my liquid asset too. Hey, look, hey, 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 man, we're not heartless, man. You can have that. And leave. Go. Leave. Go. Away. Go. Thanks for watching the show tonight, and I guess it's good night. See ya.